how I got lucky with this situation. This song was started by Joe Trapanese, the, the composer of the movie, and I was invited to participate in this, the songwriting of it, so he already had a great idea and a great song started and a melody that's tied in throughout the whole movie, and I try to come in and just add a uh, just take a, add a bridge to it and take it up a little bit higher and give it a little more energy and look for some lines in the movie or some some research in the guys, things they said, and try to get that act involved in the song. So for my first time being involved in like a big project like this, I definitely had some people holding my hand along the way and, and uh, providing the training wheels, but I've learned so much and um, have so much respect for this the whole movie making process, you know, it's so different than making a, an album. It's there's so many different types of people involved, and you know, screenwriters and, and, and people scoring the movie and trying to write original songs that are have to be based on certain events. You can't just make them up in your mind. You have to tie them back into something, and it's been a great process. I think the idea of hold the light, which I love about it, it's not immediately apparent, what does that mean, hold the light? But if you, when you see the movie and you hear the song, and you know, this, there's so much darkness in this, in this kind of loss, 19 people, just uh, a community like this. So very dark um, idea, but the idea of, you know, the positivity of this movie, this, this movie is so inspiring in a way. And I think it is the idea of the hope of hold the light, you know, find what's positive, find that, that, find that hope and, and use that for strength to uh, get through the, your own personal battle. Well, the first time I spoke with the families was three weeks after the fire actually happened back in 2012, and uh, that was just such a surreal experience because, you know, it's so fresh, but people still need a chance to smile for a second too. So you don't want to just talk about that. You want to just. You, my job is to sing and play songs and let those songs do their magic. So that's what we did. But uh, now as this has gone on and getting to know guys like Brendan and some of the family members and just. I want to know what their response is and just seeing this movie and hearing this, the music and, and it's been really awesome to, for them to feel like it, it's you know, honoring the story and if, if anything just bringing the, the story to light for people to see it and to know who these guys were and uh, for me personally it's been uh, the most meaningful thing I've ever been part of. Hearing this the story is going to become a movie with just joy, happiness. So thankful someone is going to like shed light on what happened here. The, the whole country can see, you know, what happened to, this, to these guys and, and know their story, know their tales, know their names, know the, the words like Prescott, Arizona, and, and Yarnell, and Granite Mountain. And, and so just that just made me happy knowing that they're going to get this story is going to be told. Getting a chance to participate in the writing of a song of the movie is just icing on the cake, you know, and just getting a chance to be here as it's delivered and rolls out, that is, uh, that's just awesome because I really feel attached to the story and the movie and so I'm, I'm happy to be kind of part of the premiere process. Joe came out to Las Vegas where I was playing a show and he, we went to watch the, the movie together with a producer um, and just the three of us, and like you know, the movie's cranked up to 10, you know, it was so loud. It was an earlier version of the movie, but to sit there with him, you know, pretty cool. I mean, to sit down and watch the whole movie again with me um, meant a lot. And, you know, at the time, I wasn't really sure who Joseph was. You know, now I know who he is. He's a big dog, and he's great, great director, great heart, really cared about the, you know, I think it was really, just drew me to this, this movie that is that they, these guys are doing it, they really care about the story. It's not a, Pure entertainment piece. There's a human. That's a big, you know, human element. If it's all human element, really. So his his heart is, uh, you know, really on his sleeve when, it, when it, in the making of this movie. I think what this movie shines a light on is guys like the Granite Mountain Hotshots and firefighters in general and first responders in general, and that. You know, only the brave. It's the folks that you know rush towards gunfire, rush towards fire fires, rush towards danger. When everyone else is running away from it, you know they they're looking to save other people's lives when most people are looking just to save their own. Um, so I feel like it's there's a large part of our community out there that uh, falls under this title of the movie, and uh, 
for them to be honored and, and, and uh, have a little, little light shed on them is a, is a pretty, it's a good thing. I think this movie's gonna have a great effect on the way people see, you know, first responders in their, in their own communities. Obviously, we're here to honor the, the 19 men and their families, but it's gonna extend beyond that, I think, just go, oh yeah, you know, it's just, these guys are all amongst us. These girls are all amongst us. And they're, it's, they're doing a lot more than the I see, and they're not recognized that much. It's kind of a thankless job, and they need to be, you know, recognized as, as pillars in our community. Oh man, this movie has had such a profound impact on me. I, uh, I just, I, I'm just to get a chance to be part of something that, that has such a, honors a great group of guys and, and my home state and, and uh, further goes on to honor all first responders is, is so cool. And just, and it's heavy too, it's, 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 it's inspiring, but there's a healthy amount of, uh, of sadness too, which is real as a, you know, as a country singer and a fan of country music. That's important, you know, there's nothing wrong with being sad, nothing wrong with being down, you need to recognize that. It's, life's not all up and happy, and it, sometimes it's okay just to sit with the, the sadness, and um, it's, it's gonna be healthy for you uh, to, to recognize that. And um, this movie, I think, allows people to do that, but it leaves them feeling inspired in the end.